you guys know who I am? Please let me see your hands. On the ground. Keep your hand on the ground. Hey, so tell me something. We asked the questions. I'm just curious. I mean, what brought y'all into us? Long story. A lot of twists. No doubt. No doubt. I'm Nicole Steele with the Department of Justice. In a city of 620,000, BPD cops reported over 300,000 pedestrian stops in the last five years. You guys have locked up and beat on so many people, we can't get 12 in a box who are willing to trust what a cop says. Could there ever be a moment where a police officer performed their job in such a manner that you would agree with the finding that he should be fired for abusive behavior or brutality? Certainly. Has it ever happened? We're doing our jobs. What do people want for us to stop policing? They want us to do it without the collateral damage. You know, with the Baltimore cops, you don't have complaints of doing every day. Mm -hmm. They sure as hell ain't policing. And you can't just blame the cops. We serve the politicians who thrive on being tough on crime. And when they reinstated me, they put me in a unit made up of a bunch of the biggest crooks in the whole goddamn department. These men right here, my detectives, we do things by the book. Mr. the Madness, I'm living. Drug war justifies a lot. Mr. Domenic. This is a dysfunctional police department with a culture that looks at accountability as a four-letter word. I told you weeks ago about a federal investigation. There's always a rumor of a federal investigation. This shit never happens. It's Baltimore. This shit been going on for a long while. We just followed the leader. Am I going to lose my job over this? Look around. We built this machine where half the damn country depart with money and power chew up the other half. They didn't have anything to begin with. Watch it work. I feel like a god. I teach these young kids to be good, honest cops. Go, police! The rest is up to them. I'm not a dirty cop. Mr. the Madness, I'm living.